Good job, guys. You ready for breakfast? Are you hungry, huh? Yeah, open the door. Good job, good job. Here's breakfast and everything bagel. And everything bagel toasted with some earth balance and golden kiwi and coffee. I come here this afternoon with one agenda to put pressure Watching on the Gary V with mom. Mom, he hit me! Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Showing mom TikTok. <laughs> Haven't actually watched any Vlogmas vlogs yet this year, so I'm gonna watch a couple um, Alicia Marie's vlogs, um, especially Vlogmas are some of my favorites, so definitely, yeah, gonna watch a couple of these and have more coffee. So I actually paused my vlogmas watching because I wanted to import footage um, which then records back in the camera now and then I'm transferring information to an external hard drive and I feel like this always takes so long for everything to process so I was like let me get this kicked off and now I'll watch the vlogs. Well, um, I'm watching the vlog. Parents are cooking. It's 11.30. Pasta primavera. Sounds good. Here's lunch. Dad just said it. Just worked on this mind map for content planning for next year while I was watching Vlogmas vlogs. So then I took a break for lunch and I think I'm going to jump back into this. Um, but basically the theme of my content is about raising your vibe, raising your frequency to get into ease, flow, and abundance. And then these are just some different areas related to that that I plan on making videos and whatnot. And if you guys have any requests, definitely let me know. Doing some vlog editing with my buddy by my side. Trying the new vlog upload. This is different. Looks like I've got a bit of time left and got to send some emails and I signed up for a fitness class. So more on that in a minute. Hey guys, it's just after four. I signed up kind of impromptu to a local Zumba class. So I'm excited to get my dance on. I've been like really wanting a good dance workout. So I hope it's a super fun class. Um, so yeah, I gotta hit the road so I'm not late because I want to get there early so I can check in and all that fun stuff. So um, probably can't vlog from the class. Usually most classes don't allow you to film in the class. So sorry in advance, but um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Hello, so there was a mix up with the class pass time and apparently there is not a 4.30 class, but there is a five o'clock class and it's a 30 minute express class versus 60 minutes. So it's only a 30 minute workout, but it takes the same amount of time. So whatever, these things happen. It's really not a big deal. I do not stress myself out about these little things anymore. Like I think back in the day, I would have been like, oh my God, 30 minutes, what I could have done with this time. But now I'm just so much more easygoing and like just go with the flow. Like these little things aren't worth getting yourself worked up like why would I stress out about a class you know snafu I'm still gonna get a workout the person sounds really nice um, and yeah it's just not worth it so I'm just taking the time to catch up on Instagram because I've been meaning to post something all day um, I couldn't get my vlog uploaded before I left so I'm gonna have to publish that when I get back send the email when I get back um, and then I think I'm going to follow up with one of my one-on-one um, -on -one coaching clients. So we were having a conversation and I recognized a limiting belief in something that she said. And I was like, this I recognize so easily because this is a limiting belief I used to have. And so it jumped out at me. And so we're having a conversation and I want to do a follow-up. That's what's going to happen. This is what I just posted about and it's about the concept of investing in you and not buying stupid stuff this time of year. Like the sales are great and I'm not saying like don't buy clothes or don't buy things. I'm just saying if you feel stuck, if you are like wanting to up level, sure buy fun stuff but don't get caught up in allowing those things to only be distractions from the pain that you're feeling. Like if you really want to make change, invest in stuff that's actually going to help you make change. This is like, you can tell I'm like really passionate about this and I'm probably going to talk a lot more about it. And if you want me to elaborate, definitely comment below because I can do more on this. Definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me. I post stuff like this as well as like other, you know, high vibe inspirational things. So I think it's a good follow. So definitely check it out. I mean, I'm a little biased, but what can I say? <laughs> 
Hey guys, I'm back from Zumba. That was a super fun class. Um, there was a, like I said, minor snafu with the time. So instead of doing a 60 minute, I did a 30 minute class, but I was so excited just to have a good workout. Loved the class with Melinda. Definitely check out Flare Fitness for Zumba, Pound, and other dance fitness classes if you're looking for a good workout and an awesome instructor. Um, I did class with Melinda, who's the owner of the company, and it was a really good time. And I really enjoyed, I really, there's a lot of dogs barking. So distracted. Um, but I really enjoyed her choreography and also the music that she selected. So um, now I want to change, shower, and get ready because I think dinner's gonna be ready soon. It probably seems like I'm being lazy and not cooking, but like my parents just authentically love to cook. So I love to eat their cooking and it all kind of works out. But I do plan to make some kind of food for them at some point. And I'm going to pull up some of my old recipes from my food blogging days and look up some of the vegan stuff that I have and yeah, make something for them. So that will be fun. So while I'm waiting for the shower to warm up, let me just quickly show you my workout outfit. It's just some athleta leggings that actually I left at my parents' house. Um, a spiritual gangster tank top, loose cut, and a crunch gym hoodie. The back is the best part though. Can you see that? It's like a cool skull. Maybe I'll get another shot of it for you guys. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go super casual. All right, Mom, ready for dinner? Okay. Yes, this is delicious meal. Great salad and some uh, nice bread from Stroessner. Here's dinner, white bean soup, and same piece of bread I had earlier. <laughs> I'll probably have another, though. My parents made this fresh tonight, and Bolt is sitting by, but don't worry, he's not begging. He doesn't know how to do that yet. They're looking for more treats already. You hungry corgis. You hungry, hungry hippos. Who's a hungry hippo? You are. You are. Baking an apple crisp in the oven. We did not have rolled oats, so I'm using quick cooking steel cut oats, and I don't know how that's going to turn up, but we'll find out. Here's the finished crisp. I don't know if you guys think this, but like baked apples with cinnamon has got to be one of the best smells ever. Anyways, this is the quick cooking steel cut oats. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I'm willing to give it a go. And here's what it looks like in the bowl. I hope it tastes good. Let's find out. Got a little bit more reading done in Best Year Ever. Just finished a section that was really interesting about regret and how actually you can learn, you have like an opportunity from regret if you know how to use it. And then there's a nice section on gratitude, which goes nicely with the gratitude challenge that I just ran. And according to this, there was a study where some people had some goal lists and half of the group also did a gratitude journal and the ones who practiced gratitude were significantly closer um, than others in achieving their goals. So gratitude enhances effortful, effortful goal striving. So this is really interesting, especially for this time of year, I think. Um, so just something to think in mind. And I do have some videos on how to start a gratitude practice if you're interested in leveraging the power of gratitude to achieve your goals. I personally feel like a lot of the success that I've had in recent years has been directly related to my gratitude practice and how it has just raised my frequency and made things easier for me. For me. So I can't recommend gratitude practice enough. It's something I have all of my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients do because I think it's so, so important. Um, so something to think and think about um, if you're looking for some success habits to adopt to end this year and start off 2020 with the bang. Okay, but that's it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching today's Vlogmas. Stay tuned for tomorrow's. Um, should be low key. Thank you guys for watching. Do they give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you are new here and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Good night.